What's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I've got this awesome website, Hayden.co. Yes, it's amazing. What I want to do is I want to create an email address that's attached to Hayden.co. Something like Hayden at Hayden.co. And regardless of where you host your website, you have to use an email provider to create this custom domain name. For this video, I'm going to use Google Workspace, formerly G Suite, because it's just gosh darn powerful and easy to use. Now, before we begin, there is a pricing part to this email structure. Don't look at most popular. If you're just focusing on email, all you have to worry about is $6 per month per email. Yes, if you have a team of 10, 20 people, that can get expensive, but if you just have one or two emails, that's six or 12 bucks a month, which is what I pay for for my email myself. So to get started, I'm gonna click on get started. Since this is gonna match my domain name, I'm gonna type in hayden.co for my business name. And it is just me, so the country is gonna be United States, and I'm gonna continue. You first have to enter in your contact information. So I'm gonna say Hayden Adams, that is who I am, and I'll enter the current email address and continue. From here, it's gonna ask me if I have a domain name. Yes, I do, I have Hayden.co. So I'm gonna say, yes, I have one. And I'm gonna enter in Hayden.co and click on next. Awesome, so we're gonna use Hayden.co as my domain, sweet. The next step is I'm not gonna educate my users, no thank you, since it's just me. And I first have to set up my primary email address, which is gonna be Hayden at Hayden.co. I'm gonna enter a password, click on I am not a robot, and continue down below. From here, it's gonna tell me that I get a 14 day free trial. Awesome, thank you, Google. And it's gonna be $6 per month per user, which is essentially per email address. I don't have a promotion code, so I'm gonna click on next. That's gonna to be totally fine. I need to review before I go forward. Yep, I've got my name, I've got it going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and type my address in. I'm not gonna show it on screen. And I'm gonna also add a credit slash debit card and click on next. Sweet, your Google Workspace account has been created. Awesome. So we're almost there, but we have to do some more connections to our domain name for this to work. I'm gonna click on continue to set up. And what it's gonna ask me next to do is enter in, yep, I've got the admin console, almost set to go, almost there but we're not quite there yet. What I have to do is I have to activate Gmail for Hayden.co to work. And it does take about five, 10 minutes and the wait time must be up to an hour. I find the wait to be about 30 to 40 minutes. So let's go ahead and click on activate to get this email address working. What I wanna do is I'm not gonna click on sign and activate cause I'm gonna do this the manual way cause you might not have GoDaddy as your, as your domain name, as your domain name provider. So I'm gonna switch the verification method and do it through the manual activation. This might work for you as it does say recommended, but sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna go to the manual way of doing it so you can see step-by-step step how to set up your email address. I'm gonna click on next. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna say continue to activate this. What I have to do is enter in some MX records to make this work. So if I scroll down, coming down the page, what I wanna do is, is I wanna add these MX records to my domain name. So I'm gonna pull open GoDaddy and my domain name and enter them in one by one. So I'm in GoDaddy where I bought my domain name, but you can do this anywhere that your domain name is parked and registered. Inside the records, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna add a new record. And the kind of record for emails are gonna be MX records, which you're gonna find it as MX right here. Google tells you right away how to do this. The MX server address is gonna be copied and dropped in. So the host is gonna be my actual website. So I'm gonna hit the at sign. It's gonna to point to this address and the priority is gonna be five for this one. We'll add it in and we'll do it again. For MX, we'll copy the alt two, and this is also gonna be five. So we'll say host is myself, points to this one, priority five, save it, add the third one, alt three, drop it in, this is gonna be 10, and we'll go host at, points to this, 
priority 10. And we'll do number four, which is gonna be alt four and 10 as well. So we'll come down, grab the MX, points two and 10. Now I did miss one, I think, because I scrolled right over it. Here it is. What you also need is the primary one, which is ASPMX Google, which is number one. I thought I was missing something. There we go. And we'll do MX host at points to this one, priority one. Now there's one more piece you have to add to this. It's not all the way done. What I also to do is get my verification code right here. And I have to set it as an MX verification record and go to MX host at points to the verification and priority 15. Now that I have added all of these, I'm gonna come over here and click on activate Gmail. And this might take a couple seconds depending upon your actual domain name provider. I've seen GoDaddy go as fast as 30 seconds and I've seen it take as long as 30 minutes. So far we're looking pretty good, but we're just missing that last MX record. It's gonna take a few seconds longer to kick into gear. I'm gonna pause the video and refresh my screen and come back when it's finished verifying this last one. And almost like magic, it said, hey, you know what? I verified all of them, welcome, let's set up Google Workspace. Awesome. I'm gonna skip this for now since I've already created my new user from before, so I don't even need any new users. I'm gonna skip for now. And the great part about this is you're all set to go. I can log right into Gmail and enter in my email address to sign in through Google. How awesome is that? I'm gonna click next for this email address and I have saved my password already inside of, or I thought I did. And I've logged in and it says, hey, welcome to your new, your new account. I'm gonna click on accept for all the terms and services. And just like that, in a matter of minutes, and no thanks, not for Chrome. No thank you, and get started. I have a brand new custom email address that I can use through Gmail slash Google Workspace. Awesome.